And here we go again. Well, I was going to take you guys down to the mission today, but to my surprise, I saw that they were setting up for something big here in our city center. It took us a few minutes wandering around trying to figure out what exactly was happening oh, yeah. until someone kindly told me that this is independence. So this month is independence for Mexico and they tend to celebrate it in huge ways. It's sort of their 4th of July. This is kicking off some sort of multi-day festival here in Loreto. I'm super excited. So we got here early as they were setting up. I guess the best thing to do is to find a place around here where we can hang out for a few minutes and come back after the sun sets and things get going. But before I do, I wanted to take a walk through and show you guys some of the booths while we still have some light. I'll take you right through the Seattle, uh, right through the center of our, our town here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just make my way towards the mission as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to go inside the mission, so I'm not going to be able to show you the inside of the 400-year-old mission, but I will take you to the mission. You can see the front of it right. and the whole area in which they spent a lot of time and a lot of money on here in Loretto. Um, so, yeah, so they blocked off an entire street here going down to the Malacón to put in these carnival rides. Um, you can definitely feel the electricity in the air. There are more cars here and people here than there is normally, um, you know, in the off season. So we had a hard time just finding a parking spot. That's how uh, big this event is. Um, the only thing I can really compare it to is, is Semana Santa, uh, in which case you won't be able to find a spot on any beaches here in Baja because Baja tends to be Mexico's Hawaii. So people from mainland Mexico tend to take vacations here to Baja to spend some time on the beach with their families. There's that mission, I promised you guys. Um, I will come back and I will take a walk through the mission to show you guys the inside of the mission. It is absolutely gorgeous. But try to picture this with me, if you will. Um, this mission, 400 years ago, uh, coming straight up from the Bay of Loreto. It's one of the first things that was built here a long time ago. And uh, so they spent quite a lot of money on this little courtyard area. I think it's fantastic. It's a great spot for people to gather and just sort of appreciate the mission. So, of course, my buddy Darren and I ended up at Claudia's. Uh, for some cocktails and beer. I think I even got some tacos and he ended up getting some nachos, but we're waiting for the festivities to kick off. And so we took a spot here at the back of Claudia's where we could see the Ferris wheel and know that uh, things are getting ready to go. As you can see, the Ferris wheel has been lit up and now it's time for us to go back and see what's going on. So we passed this um, sort of airsoft gun place on our way out and my friend Darren um, said, hey man, I definitely want to try shooting this gun and breaking some bottles and things. So when the event starts, we're coming back and I'm giving the guy 50 peso. And that's exactly what he did. There's Darren um, sort of eyeballing his targets while the gentleman loads up the pellets for him and, and hands him the, uh, the rifle. And you'll, I'm gonna just let you listen to this right here. And just like that, 50p is spent and he didn't win any prizes. <laughs> That's okay. So we decided to take a walk back to the center here, past the big Tecate booth to check out the stage. And, um, you know, I don't know who the band was, but they sounded pretty ding dang good. <laughs> And of course, as I promised, we went back over where the carnival rides were. Check this out. Uh, they have a small uh, electric bull 
apartment for kids and then a large electric bull for adults. I was really hoping one of the adults would get on there. Um, we stayed for a few minutes watching this little girl ride the mechanical bull. Uh, adorable, but it's not as fun as watching an adult on the big one. So we ended up moving along and checking out the rest of the carnival here. They had every ride you could possibly think of from, you know, the big Ferris wheels to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, well, <laughs> you know, trains and, and cars and everything you would, you would want at a carnival, I suppose. So um, just to see everything, we went ahead and walked all the way through um, to the end. These are the bumper cars that are coming up here. Who doesn't love bumper cars? Um, I used to take a lot of joy and pleasure in ramming my sister with a bumper car. Um, she was never really good at it, and she used to complain a lot. So, of course, as a, as a little brother, you take that upon yourself to make sure that she's absolutely miserable the entire time you're there. <laughs> so we, we got past the bumper cars here, and we started moving uh, back further in towards the carnival. It's starting to get crowded here. Uh, again, uh, there's those airsoft guns. Those tend to be all over the place around here. Um, for a country that does not want guns, they really do like their paintball and airsoft. So, you know, you can't go wrong if you wanted to come down here and maybe uh, play a couple of those games. So we're heading back out of the uh, gaming sort of ride area, and uh, we're going to be heading back in towards the center of town stay for a few more minutes and then I ended up wanting to go back home um, we didn't have power they were doing power at my apartment and so the power was shut off and I didn't have any kind of air conditioning going my fridge was a little screwed up and I wanted to make sure my dog was okay so I hope all of this works out for you guys I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this little trip and I will try to bring you some more of these <laughs>